What's up guys, TG back here with another video, this one discussing the ending of Season 3 of Ozark and what we can expect going into Season 4. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy and let's get into the topic. So it hasn't been officially renewed for Season 4 yet, but it is extremely likely that it will be. The show has been growing in popularity lately and I don't see any way it doesn't get renewed. That being said, it will definitely be a long time before we get it, especially due to Corona. It is unlikely that filming will start anytime soon. Season 3 was my personal favorite season by far, and I think Season 4 easily has the potential to be even better with how things ended. With Helen out of the picture, Marty and Wendy will now both be working and communicating directly with Navarro, and he will be expecting a lot of them in terms of expanding their business. With the second casino and hotel, they will have a lot to run with a lot of money on the line, so there's no room for mistakes, but it's going to be hard to avoid them with all the problems they're going to face that are waiting for them at home. I thought Season 3 was going to be a Cartel vs. Kansas City mob war, but they were able to avoid that for the most part and kind of work together. But it really seems that that won't be the case for this next season, and it looks like they'll be teaming up with Darlene, who we know is crazy, to go after the birds. And of course they also have Ruth, who knows so much about their business. With Wendy being responsible for her dad's death and boyfriend's death, I don't think there's any way she goes back to them. She was ready to join and work with Helen, believing that she would be killing Marty and Wendy. So Ruth, Darlene, and the mob will be directly going after the birds, and it's going to be a huge problem. Marty and Wendy don't have anyone to really protect them from this except for the cartel, and it's going to be really hard for them to make an obvious appearance in town with the feds still there. The feds almost got to Marty last season, and as we go through season 4, they'll continue to get even closer. Unless Marty can finally get Maya or one of their agents to turn, it's going to be near impossible to not finally get caught with something. Besides the cartel, Marty and Wendy really have no allies, and that's going to be from within their own family as well. Jonah is now aware that his parents allowed Ben to be killed, and they were pretty close in Season 3. He was visibly angry as we last saw him shooting out the glass in their own house. For the most part, him and Charlotte have stuck together throughout the series, so he's definitely going to be telling her. And I don't think there's any way that she will support her parents either. She will take Jonah's side and go against them. I don't exactly see them joining the opposition and going after them directly, but I don't think that they're going to be staying or helping their parents in any way. Knowing their parents killed their uncle will be the last straw for them. I think this is something the feds can try to use to their advantage, and maybe they'll try to take them in and turn them on their parents. As I said before, I don't know if we'll see them directly going after their parents like that, but the relationship will be ruined. So between the mob, Darlene, and Ruth teaming up to go after them, the feds being on their tail, and their own kids turning against them, Marty and Wendy won't have it easy going into next season. And if they don't deal with all this correctly, then their only ally in the cartel won't hesitate to turn on them either. If that happens, Marty and Wendy are easily dead. They're not going to be able to run out the cartel. So they are going to have to find a way to resolve all these issues by any means necessary so they can continue to launder money and expand their legitimate business for the cartel. Season 4 is going to be a long, long wait, but with all the craziness we can expect out of it, it should be worth the wait. That's it for this video, guys, giving my early predictions for Season 4. I will for sure be making more videos as we get more news on it. Thanks for watching, and leave your comments about Season 3 and Season 4 down below.